Hi, and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, I want to take advantage of using conditional formatting to highlight which of my sales reps are exceeding the, or meeting or exceeding the average daily call minimum. And so we're going to use some conditional formatting for this. And then we're going to also use a form control called a spin button to quickly adjust this number that these values are being compared to. So first, let's get the conditional formatting going. Let's say that we've got a collection of sales reps, these are their average daily calls, but as long as they're making at least seven calls a day, they're okay. So I'm gonna select this range of cells, I'll go to conditional formatting, and I'm gonna create a new rule for these uh, cells. So I can't just say highlight cells rules and say greater than cell E1 because that'll only be relevant to column B, but I want both the values in A and B to be highlighted when they meet the criteria. So that means we're going to create a custom rule. We go to conditional formatting, new rule, and we're going to say use a formula to determine which cells to format. So I'm going to say equals dollar sign B2 equals and then my minimum value is in cell E1 so I want to lock the reference to the column in the row dollar E dollar one so let's talk about that a little bit in the first part of my formula I only lock the reference to column B because as the conditional formatting is is applied across two columns I need to stay locked on column B as the column containing the value so the reference to column B stays locked across all these cells but the reference to row 2 is not locked because for Peter Parker it should be B3 for Bruce Wayne B4 Diana Prince B6 etc or B5 so we don't lock the row number when we have the cells highlighted we're only locking the column letter that contains the data for comparison uh, for the conditional formatting to trigger so we lock B not two, but we lock the row and column for this cell because as the data is rolled across two columns and down multiple rows, it should always be compared to E1. In other words, this reference should not be relative at all. Uh, so I'm going to now set my formatting. So I'm going to say uh, if that's the case, in fact, let's do, let's not say equal to, let's say greater than or equal to. So if the average daily calls are greater than or equal to what's in E1, then they meet the criteria and we're going to maybe bold them and put a green fill in the cell. And so we click OK. So we can see which people have met the criteria. Now, let's add a second layer of conditional formatting. So we'll select the same range and say new rule. So I'm going to add a second rule that says equals dollar sign B2 is less than, and then I'll say uh, dollar E dollar one. Uh, so if it's less than this minimum value, then we're going to do, say, a uh, red fill in with maybe um, a white font. And there we go. And and so that's it and now what we'll do to make this a bit more dynamic is I'll go to the uh, developer tab and where it says insert I'm going to insert what's called a spin button form control some people like to call these elevator buttons because of how they look and so when I draw them out on the spreadsheet I can right click them and say format control which allows me to uh, put a current value, a minimum value. So let's say we never want the minimum daily to be able to go lower than five. And let's say maximum value will never exceed 15. And the incremental change is one. And the cell link is E1. So then I choose OK. And then I click away from the buttons after I've designed them. Now when I click them, it changes the value and of course uh, the corresponding conditional formatting rules 
uh, show up the way that we anticipate it. So if I'm saying my team has to make a minimum of 10 calls per day, only Selena is making the cut. If I ratchet it down some, then a lot more people are succeeding and only a few need to be put on an improvement program. And of course, we'll, we set it so this could never scroll below five. That's it. That's conditional formatting used in conjunction with spin buttons on a spreadsheet. Thanks for tuning in and please come back soon for more Excel demos with Rich Kerr. Have a productive day.